So a question I keep getting over and over again, every time we cover a browser app that shows the Apple TV logo and the ability to look at content on Apple TV Plus, the streaming service is, can I watch my purchased iTunes movies or shows on this app? And the quick answer is no. But if you don't mind a few cables, you can actually solve this pretty easily thanks to the HDMI prototype app from Meta. You probably heard about the HDMI link by now, but there are a few caveats that you have to keep in mind before you run out and go buy a cable and plug it into your Quest. So you may have heard you do need a capture card cable to go from your USB-C device over to your Quest. So that's USB-C to HDMI. I actually ran out and got this one to start with the, I don't know how to say this, the gear mock, but this is a capture card. It works up to 1080p, 60 frames per second. So it does the job. But what it'll allow you to do is actually plug in the USB-C side of this cable and a regular HDMI cable over to some source. So once you're there and you have your capture card connected to your Quest and you've allowed all the permissions inside the headset, you can now plug in directly to that capture card and then this would go to any source that you want, whether it's a laptop or an Apple TV or an Xbox, whatever you need, you could get that display to display inside the HDMI link inside the Quest which is actually pretty cool when you think about it, because in order to use your Quest headset and use like your work computer, you wouldn't be able to do that because all of the desktop mirror applications require you to have some type of streamer or some type of client installed on that PC in order to see your PC inside of the headset. But if you just plug in your laptop, for example, using one of these capture cards, you could actually use your Quest as your work PC. And then you can open up other apps alongside your work screen in the headset. Now, don't say that you heard on the construct that this would be okay. Make sure you are adhering to all of your code of business conduct before you plug up a capture card to your work laptop. So let me show you what that looks like. I'm going to plug in this Ugreen USB-C to HDMI into the capture card right from the Mac mini. Now this card does not have a capture card in it, so you can't just plug this directly into your Quest and then into some HDMI port. It doesn't work that way. And something I wanna point out here, cables will vary. You can see here that it's actually picking up at 50 frames per second, not 60. And depending on how the cable was built, you'll be able to get 60 frames. And this cable didn't give me that. It works best when I just plug up a normal HDMI cable directly to a source into the capture card. But what I want you to see here is that once we are connected and I wake up my Mac here with my mouse, you'll see that the Mac is displaying right here inside the headset and everything is available. So this would be a great way to mirror your content without the use of a network at all. You're directly plugged in. There's no drop in signal or anything like that. You're able to work just as you would on a local machine. And if you've been catching VR news lately, we know that we have the remote desktop from Windows coming up or Windows completely on a headset, but this isn't bad. I mean, look at this. You have your keyboard right here and you're able to work smoothly with this nice seamless keyboard recognition from version 72. It's nice not to have to use a network just to be able to see your machine and you won't always have a network available. So this comes in clutch. But let's talk about why you're really here. Let's use this same cable and use this on our iPhone. I'll plug this into the capture card into the Quest right here. If I can get that lined up. And let's put the USB-C into my wife's phone because I still have a iPhone 14. But I just want you to see how well this works. So now we are connected and I can start streaming directly from her phone. What I like about this is that how seamless it is. There's no latency, there's no lag there. It's almost one-to-one -one with the amount of speed that I'm swiping here. But something else I wanna show you here is that when you're using an Apple device, I haven't tested this on Android, but when you're using an Apple device, the connected display is acting as a monitor or a TV. So you can see that it's not actually playing on the device, it's only playing inside the headset. So I can even lock this device and just watch the content. So imagine if you're traveling or on a plane or train or whatever, you can just watch your content with the phone locked. And the content looks really good. Like I'm not really noticing the 
50 frames per second thing and you know i don't think it's any higher than 1080p but it looks super crisp i mean it's really nice to look at so here's something that's cool you see these black bars on the left and right that's only because i am mirroring the ipad screen itself and it's not a wide ratio or aspect ratio so just like on the iPad, it will play the content on the external display, which is our quest in this case. But you can see here I'm playing purchased iTunes content. I mean, everyone should own a copy of The Dark Knight. But you can see I can play it here and it plays just fine. There's no issues. It plays just as good as any streaming service. But this is local content. So if I were to download this ahead of time and take it onto a plane, I could watch this inside my headset with no problem. One more benefit of this is being able to use the Quest as an additional display. So you can see here, I'm playing content on the iPad itself, and the Quest is displaying the secondary display for the iPad. So I could do work up here and watch content if the pass-through doesn't bother you too much, or swap it around and just do work on the iPad and watch your content in a large window on your Quest. But next up, I want to tell you about a mistake that I made that I hope by watching this video, I can prevent you from making. So if I could save you a little bit more time, something I was worried about was actually keeping my headset powered when using this setup because your USB-C port is utilized. So I picked up this cable from Ugreen and I have to say this was a mistake as well. I'm hoping I save you guys some time here. Unfortunately, you can see here I have the phone cable, and then what would be the laptop cable. Now this does work. It actually works because there's a capture card built into this cable. So you don't actually need this capture card anymore. You can plug directly up into the Quest here, and then you can plug this into your source, like your iPad or laptop. Now the great thing about this cable is that there is power delivery here which is awesome. I was really excited about this cable, but the unfortunate thing is, is that this powers your source, not your Quest. So the way this cable is designed is that the power actually would go in here from a USB-C power source or plugging into the wall, and it routes the power back this way. It doesn't route the power that way. So if you have a concern about keeping your source powered up, this could be a good choice, but it won't keep your Quest powered up. It will drain at the regular speed and maybe even a little faster because it's porting video over the USB-C port. So I went to AliExpress and found this cable. This is the Creme de la Creme. It solved all of my problems. Now it does have a HDMI port here, but you can see there is also a power delivery port right here via USB-C. And this does power back to the Quest in this case. Now, you will need one of your additional cables, something like this, so that you can plug the HDMI into your iPad or your Android device. So you would plug this up like this. This would go here into your iPad. And this, really don't love that there's a USB-A port there, but this would go into your Quest, and this would allow you to power your Quest while watching content. So you can't power your source, but you make sure that's charged up, but this does actually route the power all the way back to your Quest. So let me show you what that looks like. We're low on power here, and I have some power coming through this USB-C, and we'll plug it into the capture card, and there you go. Now we have power to the Quest, and we are still mirroring our display into the Quest from the iPad. So this is really the perfect setup because you're actually able to keep the Quest powered and watch content at the same time. And if you're watching downloaded content, you could do this on the go. Before we go any further, if you do not have an iPhone 15 or newer, you might see something like this out there where it's a lightning cable to HDMI. Do not get this, do not get this at all. It doesn't work well. It only will actually stream the screen of the Apple device. It won't stream protected content like Netflix or Disney Plus or anything like that. As a matter of fact, the last time I tried to use this cable, it didn't work at all. So just fair warning, don't get this one. So I hope this helps guys. Hopefully this video helps you keep it down to just buying two cables instead of the four or five that I bought. If it did, do me a favor and hit like below and hit subscribe if you found value in the channel at any point. And we'll see you here next time in The Construct. Peace.